Hello. Hello, this is uh Matt M. Open Thinking Do Podcast. I'm uh got you see this? That's uh from a shave. I didn't know how to shave. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing a intro. I'm gonna be doing a um Oh, this is better. I am going to be doing a uh, intro about uh, being American and being organized, stalked, maybe do directed energy weapons, and the uh, country of the Netherlands. I started about a year ago, but the thing is, my story. I've I looked into uh, crazy stuff already. What they call uh, conspiracy theories, and you know, got come across a lot and then started speaking out, but uh, from it, I think this targeting individual program is a part of the uh, um, the population program, but my targeting started with uh, when I'm always walking from like last year about February of 2013 when I would always walk at night or something, there was always people around me and before I'd go out the same time and uh, there would be no one there so I always would uh, feel like there's somebody watching and but I already knew see the thing was I must have wanted to have a self-fulfilling uh, thing of being gang stalked because I started listening to these calls at the time on this thing called uh, TalkShoe.com with these targeted individual uh, talk shows there on TalkShoe and nothing came about really uh, at the time I started listening to it in 2012 the spring and I just kept on listening and nothing happened in the United States and the first time I went to Holland nothing but then it started uh, February 2013 but I think based on the information I know now they were already recording me and watching me I think everybody does they uh, they try to do that and things like that watch you and surveil you and say hey uh, make a uh, make about his habits create uh, uh, a portfolio on what he eats where he goes what he thinks you know they they watch you and I do agree with that and now it's just getting a little bit worse you know uh, but I don't really care I'm not scared of them the key is Jesus Christ and and uh, the things that uh, to watch for and I already know of thousands of people that are targeted have created YouTube videos and went viral in their face uh, about these issues is uh, at least with the organized stalking you need to uh, uh, watch their hand signals like this because <coughs> I noticed when I first started getting stalked just like every time I walk by almost I hear her uh, <coughs> uh, do this or uh, you know and started doing some research these were the Stasi signals and uh, things like that and a form of communication between the perpetrators with their they're called a small level or you know bottom chain uh, perpetrators the brown nosers as one uh, a target on his or her website calls them which is you know it's cool but I notice every time I go I'd always have a crowd around me I, c I told my friend he has a store I said I just you can hire me as a marketing uh, billboard I could just stand there and I'll draw you a bunch of business <laughs> so I could use the targeting I could get paid and and he'd make money too so it's a win-win on that situation so anyways it's not a really a big deal I mean now once I really know what's going on and for me it's my faith I'm trying to get back to my faith and I struggle but I'm trying to get back to my faith in Jesus Christ that's the real key, having faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. That gets you through any situation. And they want you to be afraid and live in fear and to, to be isolated. That's the theme, to be either isolated or to murder yourself, which is suicide, or to be thrown in prison, or to be labeled as crazy. And this is what's really going on, people. It's not just a few people, but it's thousands upon thousands. It's probably over... There's a lot of people, especially in America, it's really bad. Uh, here we have, uh, I'm not going to mention names, so I don't, I'm not, maybe because of law. I'm not going to say any names, but here there's a, there's a fair amount too, but not like in the United States. 
Uh, we just have to be diligent and we need to get the word out about organized stalking and directed energy weapons. It's all, it's just a small part of what's going on. The big thing is, is the end times. The end times has been going on if you look at it for 2,000 years. But we have to understand what's really going on now in society and, and now how the dumbing effect each generation is on education level of common sense. It's ha it has depleted in uh, the last several hundred years, you know. So, sorry about my stuttering. Um, but hey, I, and I was studying to be a communication major, but I'm doing this to get the, uh, the information out on what's happened to me. Um, really, it's weird, and uh, other TIs could attest to this. Last summer, we were having an all night prayer thing at a church I go to at the school. And I go out for fresh air. This is two two thirty in the morning, and I see a bunch. All of a sudden, a bunch of cars and and then people on bicycles and some walking. And I just like, look, God, I feel sorry for them. I don't, I don't envy them. I feel sorry for them because they have to live a life of slavery. Perp, perps, anybody who loves evil, including me, I'm speaking myself. We're a slave of sin. We're slaves. But those people who choose to love doing this, they're slaves. They don't have any purpose. Their purpose is death. And that we need to understand that, that we need to reach out to them too. Not to not to uh, uh, to say, hey buddy, can you be buddies? But to know that some of these people don't know what's really going on. And the ones who do, we need to really expose. And this is our help, our weapon right here. It's the word of God. And everything is for the glory of God. And those, there's others who are being targeted that are not Christians, have no no belief, and we need to stand up for them too. They have rights. They no, they don't need to be harassed. Even if you're a homosexual or whatever, you don't need to be harassed. I mean, your own choices. What do you live? It, eventually, you're gonna have um, reap the consequence of your choice, whether it's homosexuality or whether it's uh, committing uh, adultery outside of marriage. You know. Everybody has uh, going to have a consequence for their action, whether it's good or bad. But for these people who are willfully doing destruction in our society, who are trying to target, that's wrong, and that needs to be exposed, and that's happening to me. But I, I'm there's a, there's a purpose for everything. For those who believe this evil is going to be used for our good, for the glory of God and Jesus Christ. Some of the people who listen to this maybe will understand, but it's really happening. I mean, I get sounds all the time. Because I live in an apartment building. I mean, I have this, this irregular, you know, neighbors always constantly up and down the stairs here because I live right next to the stairs. Always constant, you know, all the time. And then my neighbor upstairs, too, uh, he's in on it to some, some degree, I think. And he's just, or it could be acoustics, too. There's so many things, you know. And the thing is, the way they do it, it's hard to prove. But yet, in heaven, it's already been approved. The true justice is in heaven. Because even in the world, even if we didn't have this, even if it's just normal, in our humanity, we still don't have true justice because we're finite. So everything would still be unjust to a degree. Maybe not as a high degree as it is now because of the willfulness of evil. But yet, we're, we have a... Uh, human justice will never prevail truly. Only the justice of God will. And I'm just telling you, here in the Netherlands being targeted, it's kind of difficult because you see them. But you look at them in the eyes. I look at them straight in the eyes and smile. I really do. And I wish them peace and love because there's no way to live like that. And being, you know, mobbed, or as they call mobbed, and everywhere you go. It's just a lot of dog walkers here, too. Like in front of my house, there's dog walking. And it's it's just hilarious to see, you know. I mean, sometimes I just have to laugh, you know, because for me, um, by the grace of God, I'm not scared to die for this, if I am. Because they cannot take my soul. They cannot take your soul. They can even try to take your mind, but they really can't. If you meditate on God's Word, and if you do some meditations, I don't mean to, like, open yourself up to other stuff, but meditations, clearing, you know, clear your head, focus. They cannot penetrate your spirit and expose. They try to use lies. Lies is their foundation. And Jesus said anything that's not built on the foundation will always, like quicksand, it will always fall. And these people 
have to have a lie. And if these low-level people who are in uh, in this group, uh, but not willfully known, just what lying information they're told, we could get to them on a local level, and then go regional and inter uh, national, then international. Uh, for at least the local, if we take out the low level, most of this would be almost broken because they need the low level to take it up to keep to keep what they have in the organizational pyramid and scheme. But with this, I am out. To everybody, have a blessed day, and I will come maybe with another interview. Sorry about my verbal skills. I'm still learning how to talk publicly again. It's been a while. But uh, I hope everybody's blessed. This is for the purpose of the glory of God and telling the truth of what's really going on. And this is the intro to organized stalking of American living in the Netherlands. With that, have a blessed day. And you remember, uh, learn how to think, not what to think. God bless and bye-bye.